What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today I just got my uh, Shonen Jump promos in the mail. Of course, if you subscribe to uh, the Shonen Jump app, or is it Viz or Shonen Jump now? I think they actually rebranded it to Shonen Jump, where basically, of course, you get your promo cards mailed to you, and these are supposed to be the final Shonen Jump promos as well, so... It's kind of a bittersweet thing, honestly. I'm kind of sad about this because, uh, first off, it was bad enough when we didn't get the physical magazines with the cards anymore, and then now we don't even get them mailed to us. So, yeah, I guess in some ways it might be good because I know that U.S. is really, like, the only region that gets these and then other regions have to wait. But I just wish everyone would get them at the same time. Plain and simple. But anyway, so it is kind of a bittersweet opening video. And uh, let's go on ahead and see our cards. Because basically we're getting the last of the dragons that we were missing on this. Because as you guys know, they had the new Judgment Dragon, Trishula, uh, Arm Dragon, and uh, what am I missing? Uh, Red Eyes Link. That was the other one. Okay. I'll say, I'm trying to remember all of them. They were all cool. Uh, it's just their effects weren't as great as the, you know, like uh, the monsters originally were, you know? Anyway, here's basically saying this is what you get, you know, from the Shonen Jump app. Okay, I was correct on that. I'm about to say, I know they, like, changed the icon and all that. But, yeah, you get two promo cards from this. Again, I don't think if you uh, subscribe now you're going to get these, but double check. I I'm not 100% sure on that, to be very honest. I don't think so, though. Anyway, the cards that we got are our Dark Armed, the Dragon of Annihilation. So this is the new uh, Dark Armed Dragon. Basically, it's the XC. It's actually a pretty decent one, too. It's one of the better ones, in my opinion. And then also we got the new Judgment Dragon, which is a uh, synchro version of it, too. Another one that's pretty interesting, though. It's Judgment, the uh, Dragon of Heaven. Anyway, though, I'll go ahead and read off the effects and stuff for you guys. And, uh, you know, just in case you haven't heard about these cards. And uh, then we'll talk about them a little bit. So yeah, first off, let's start with the Synchro. It requires one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters, so it is generic. 3,000 attack, 2,600 defense. Anyway, its effect is, if you Synchro summon this card, all materials must be the same attribute. Once per turn, if you have uh, four or more tuners with different names in your graveyard, and you control uh, the Synchro Summon card, you can pay half your life points to destroy all other cards on the field. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except dragon monsters. Once per turn, during your end phase, banish four cards from the top of your deck. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not as good as the original Judgment Dragon. I mean, I feel like there is kind of a use for this card, but, yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like a lot of these cards are more for fun. You know, it's like, hey, we have all these different uh, older monsters that have come back as uh, different versions. Like, Trishula, of course, was a fusion, and then uh, the Red Eyes monster was a Link. Either way, though, it's a decent card in some ways, but, yeah, it's, it's not really what you're expecting when you hear about a new form to Judgment Dragon. You're thinking, oh, boy, it's going to be something really powerful. It didn't really hit that category. And then, of course, for our Armed Dragon, this one is, uh, let's see, Dragon XC, 2,800 attack, 1,000 defense. It requires two level 7 monsters to XC summon into it. It is a rank 7, of course, too, and generic, so that's what makes it uh, pretty useful, too. And, of course, its effect is, uh, let's see, uh, once per turn, if you have exactly five uh, dark monsters in your graveyard, you can also XC summon a Dark Armed, the Dragon of Annihilation, by using... Uh, one level 5 or higher dark dragon monster you control as a material. You can also detach one material from this card and then target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Then uh, banish one card from your graveyard. Also, this card cannot attack for the rest of this turn. So yeah, this one, I feel like it's just more useful, uh, honestly. I mean, because first off, bringing out a rank 7 is not a problem. We knew that from Dragon Rulers. If, if we ever get more of those, I mean, this could be really good then for that reason. Uh, I've thought about using it with, like, Red Eyes, of course, too. And uh, since we do have Dark Home Dragon, where uh, I think it's unlimited right now, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, you could, I guess, use them together and all that, too. So I, I think it's probably the best of all four, and five if you want to include Chaos Emperor, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I think you guys are mainly going to want to give them for the collectability. And, of course, too, it's cool. I mean, it's Dark Home Dragon is an XC monster. I wish it had a better effect. But at the end of the day, with their artworks and stuff... I think they're definitely worth picking up. So, yeah. What do you guys think about these promos? Do you like them? Do you not like them so much? Also, how do you feel about Shonen Jump not having promo cards anymore? Let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for watching. I do plan to have a video showing you guys my full uh, Shonen Jump promo collection because I guess now it's complete, you know, with uh, this being the last two promos. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. And, uh, yeah. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out. Plenty of videos on the way. Like, seriously, I have a lot to record today. And, of course, I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.